Welcome back guys. Hope you all are doing really, really well and keeping safe wherever you are. Today we'll be looking at doing something really different on this channel. We'll be looking at dialing in some Petrucci style tones on a modeler which is absolutely free. Well, it's free for the first 30 minutes and then you have to start it over. Yes, we are talking about Guitar Rig 5. Let's do it. Some clarifications before we begin, this video is not sponsored by Guitar Rig 5 or by Native Instruments by any means. I'm using the trial version of the software and this was my go-to modeler before I actually purchased the XFX2 and this video is all about me trying to go back to Guitar Rig 5 in 2020 and see if I can apply some of my learnings from the XFX2 as well. Now obvious disclaimer, we'll be looking at dialing a generic style of Petrucci tone and you may ask why a Petrucci tone? because obviously I'm playing the Ernie Ball Music Man JP15 which is his guitar of choice and obviously who does not love Petrucci tones. So we'll be dialing in within the limits of the modeler. There's a lot this modeler can do and there's a lot this modeler cannot do. So have your tastings with a pinch of salt if you may. Okay, we'll be looking at dialing in two sort of presets. One going to be a rhythm sort of a preset and the second is going to be a lead style of preset. I would love to share these presets with you, but since I'm using the trial version, I am not able to save them. But that's the whole point of this video. Open up a Guitar Rig 5, if you haven't downloaded it, download it today and open it up and let's dial in the tones together. Let's dive in and do this. Okay guys, so I've got Guitar Rig 5 in front of me and I have 30 minutes to dial in two tones. Let's get right into it. First choice we're gonna do is the amp. Now if you know Petrucci, he uses his signature amp JB2C++ and he's been known to use the Mesa Boogie Mark series as well. But unfortunately, that's not been modeled in the Guitar Rig 5. We do have a dual rectifier model in there, but that's not what we're gonna use. What we're gonna use is something different. I'm gonna go into the amplifiers and pull up this amp. This is called a Hot Solo. This is, I believe, an implementation of a Soldano sort of an amp in the Guitar Rig 5. Now, obviously, this is not a Mark 5 or a Mesa style of an amp, so you're not gonna see those graphic EQs or the V shapes and everything, but we're gonna use this to try and get in somewhere close to the kind of tone we want. Now, first things first, I'm gonna get rid of the match cabinet because I'm not saying that's not very good, but I'm gonna use something more advanced in Guitar Rig 5 called the Control Room Pro. What this does is gives you an ability to add cabs, just like you would do in the Axe FX, for example, and you can add multiple cabs in there and you can have different micing options as well. We're not gonna go that extreme and have eight cabs in there, but we're gonna do something very, very simple. What I'm gonna choose is probably a four by 12 gratifier, which is again, a Mesa style of cab implemented in the Guitar Rig 5. I'm gonna mic this to a Dynamic 421. This is in line with some of the mics that I believe Petrucci uses in his studio setup. The second one is again going to be a 4x12 gratifier. Again, that thing has stopped working. <laughs> That happens again and again, I don't know why. That drop down doesn't seem to work sometimes. But anyways, we found the cab and what we're gonna do is mic it with the Dynamic 57 this time. I'm gonna bring the volume down slightly a bit so that it doesn't have peaking around there. That should be good, minus 3.4. And everything's at default. This is how the tone is sounding. I'm playing on the bridge pickup, everything's at full. <laughs> Yeah, it's got that characteristics, but it's nowhere close to the kind of tone we want. So we're gonna shape up the amp and get the kind of tone we're looking for. First things first, the bass is gonna come down between 10 and 11. The middle, I think I'm gonna scoop it out quite a lot between two and three. My guitar is mid bass, so you might need to have a little bit of more mid there. Uh, treble, I'm gonna bring it down slightly around two o'clock, and I think the master, I'm gonna push it up all the way. Presence is gonna come down as well to around three o'clock or maybe 3.30, somewhere around there. Depth's gonna go up as well, and with that done, this is how we are sounding. That's sounding pretty good. Let me check again if I put the right mics in there. That's pretty good. Uh, what we're gonna do is add some more distortion to it, some more gain to it, because why not? We are dialing in a Petrucci tone. It needs to have a lot of distortion. 
and we love distortion. So we're gonna add a tube screamer up top here uh, and what I'm gonna do is bring down the tone a bit and I also bring down the drive a bit and I think I uh, still have a little bit of peaking but I'm gonna keep it there. I think with that done, this is how we're sounding. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but I hear a bit of boominess in the low end over there and a bit of fizz there as well. Now, you can't fix all of it because obviously, as I said, we are doing things between the limit of the modeler. But what we're going to do is cut off some of that boom on the low end, which we're going to do by adding a couple of things. The first thing we're going to add is a noise gate, which is going to bring down that boominess a li little bit. I'm not going to tweak anything. I'm going to keep it at default. Second thing I'm going to do is add an EQ, which is of the shelving type. What we're going to do is cut out most of that low end so that we get that tightness in the low spectrum of the tone. And with that done, this is how we are sounding. I think that sounds pretty sweet. Just to add in a touch of uh, space there, we're gonna do is add a reverb in there. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a studio reverb in there. Uh, what uh, we know Petrucci also likes to use is a bit of modulation in his tones, which is a chorus. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add that. We're gonna pull this guy, this guy is called an ensemble, and I'm gonna place it between these, after the EQ or before the EQ? I think let's place it after the EQ. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is boost up the volume a little bit and chorus is going to come down all the way. This is the intensity, otherwise you're going to get a lot of those weird shape shifting things happening in your tone. We don't want that. <laughs> if you see this small arrow over here, it's like a secret button which you click and it expands and reveals, whoa, a lot of other options which you'll not see on top over there. Reveals some more tiny knobs which are hard to dial in, but that's the way it is. I think these are very, very important. You can control the wetness or the dryness of the, uh, the modulation. I'm going to bring down and make it a little less wet. Uh, I'm going to make it around 10%. I think that should be fine. The treble, I'm going to push up a little bit. With that done, this is how we're sounding. Uh, let's play something else. <laughs> Or if you play stuff like uh, this as well. You get the idea uh, and also if you play stuff like this as well. I think that's sounding really really sweet and I could play on that for hours and hours and trust me I think I have all you need to do is keep restarting Guitar Rig 5 and dial it in again. But that's a small price to pay for everything that's coming for free. Anyway, so moving on to the lead preset, what we're going to do is modify the same preset and try to convert it into sort of a lead preset as well. Now, obviously, when you talk about Petrucci's lead, it's fat, it's smooth, and it's like a fluid liquid flowing through the space-time continuum. <laughs> Whatever, but I think uh, this tenor of a tone is better suited for the rhythm So what we're gonna do is add in a lot of more mids because that's the kind of tone we want to tweak this What we're gonna do is change a few things in the preset What we're gonna do is add more mids as I said before add more drive as well to be honest We need more drive and a little bit of more tone Treble's gonna come down slightly 
to around one o'clock myths i think are good at around 11 o'clock presence is going to come down to noon because we don't want it to be that sharp depth is fine where you are and i think for the mic king for the second cab i change it to a ribbon 121 because that's a slightly uh, less bright mic compared to i think the sm57 i'm going to get rid of the eq shelving because we're not doing the whole chugga chugga thing here with playing solos and i think we need that low end to make it nice and smooth uh, chorus i'm going to leave in there what i'm going to add is actually a delay because what's a lead tone without a delay now to find a delay i have to go up and it's going to be in delay and echo over here i think i chose the twin delay there are many other options there as well but i think the twin delay works better for me now this is sometimes a challenge to add it at the bottom but then you know it's added you have to scroll up and scroll down to find it I'm going to leave the mix where it is. I'm going to boost up the time to around 500 milliseconds, somewhere around close to that. Let's keep both of them same if we can. That's another test. Feedback's going to come down a little bit for both of the sides. And uh, I think that's all the changes we need. Uh, we can leave the noise gate in there for now. But uh, have a listen to this. Uh, it's I'm playing on the bridge pickup and uh, everything is at full. Isn't that sweet? That's pretty good. Now let's look at something on the neck pickup. get the idea i think that's sounding pretty pretty good now if you if you want to use this for other parts like this one as well sweet uh, or probably this now I would love to play this and make you hear it in the mix but obviously I don't want any copyright claims coming on this video so I'm gonna play some other parts as well let's see if you like the tone as well so this part I think that's sounding really really sweet to my ears so that's pretty much it folks those are the two presets hope you enjoyed dialing in these presets with me if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please do consider subscribing it really helps the channel grow and it really helps me in coming up with these videos more and more and until the next video keep rocking guys stay safe and cheers bye bye